Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner's Java. This is going to be lesson number 12. I really, really need to start checking that before I make these because I sound awful silly. Um, it's a really good song by the way. DJ Tiesto, Just Be, highly recommended. So today we're going to be talking a bit about um, what are called switch statements. Uh, or well, they're technically called case statements. So Remember how a while back we ended up with this nested if and it looked really ugly. It just, it looked like hell. It really did. Terrible. And you have all these multiple levels and you have all this stuff going on and tons and tons and tons of, you know, uh, open and closing scoping brackets and there's just, it's, it's a lot and it's hard to look at, it's hard to read. Now, case statements are not to save lines of code. They're not to, you know, bedazzle the next person before or after you who might have to code it. What case statements are made to do is to make it easier to understand when you need to use a, a multiple uh, level if statement or an if statement that might have a ton of different values. So let's assume that one of the better uses of this might be to display a menu. So let's say you're making uh, some kind of a calculator or something like that where there's going to be a fixed menu where you maybe output the same things 10 times. So let's start developing towards that goal. Make a simple calculator. Okay. So let's start off with system.out.println and we're going to say enter a value for number one. Or, uh, okay, for, yeah, number one. Okay, sure. And so then we're going to make, uh, actually let's make it a double and we'll name it num1 equals input dot next double. And then we're basically just going to copy paste the same thing again for uh, num2. Okay. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to do one that's called num selector. So we're going to do the same thing. And so we're going to name this variable selector. And we're going to change this around a little bit and say, uh, what operation would you like to perform? One for addition, two for subtraction, three for malt, four for division, uh, five for modulo, six for square. So we have a bunch of stuff that we have to code up now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume that our, our user is going to be nice and we're actually going to change this to an int because it does not need to be double at all. And so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to do a switch statement. We're going to start by saying switch selector and then inside of our switch we're going to make what are called cases and so a case I like to indent this a little differently than they want me to indent it goes something like this we say case one which means if our selector equals one then we're simply going to do num one um, let's make a third variable I guess or alternatively, we can do something like this, where we go system.out.println. And I'm going to intentionally leave an error in here. Uh, the sum of this operation is, and then we'll do plus, and we'll just do num1 plus num2. And so that will spit out the sum of that. So we're going to copy paste this a few times because I'm feeling particularly lazy and don't want to type it a hundred times. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll go down, change that. Three, four, five, six. And so at this point, we simply just need to change 
sum to difference. Uh, three is multiplication, so that's going to be product. And then it will be quotient. Uh, then it's going to be remainder for modulo. And then square will also be product, I believe. Or no, we can say the square uh, of these numbers, perhaps. And so that should give us what we want. Um, when we give this a run, it's it's going to be a little different than than what we've sort of done in the past. Because think about the complexity this would be if we had an if statement. We would need to go if num1 equals 1, then we'd have to do some stuff. And then it would be else if num1 equals 2, do stuff. You know, and so it just makes it sort of easier to, to read and to follow. So once you're inside the switch statement, that's all these are doing. They're just doing different things. So we come in here, we're going to change these around num1 minus, multiply, divide. Uh, the remainder of this operation is, um, that's the mod. And so then we're going to do the square of these numbers. That's not really fair. Um, I can't, well, I suppose I could use math.pow but then it's not a square. So let's do for exponent. The product of the first number raised to the second to the power is I still don't like the way that reads, but you guys basically get the idea. We'll import java.lang.math. And then we'll just do a math.pow. And it's just going to be num1, num2. And we can just get rid of that. And we're all set. Um, no, we need one more uh, parenthesis. Okay, so we give this a run, and it's asking us to enter a value for number one. We'll do two to the fourth power uh, will be interesting. So it's asking us uh, what operation we want to perform. Sorry, it doesn't quite fit into the box that I've made. So we will choose exponent. So two to the fourth power is 16. Great. So this is just a basic sort of introductory glance at switch. Now, there is a problem with this code, and I told you that there would be. I chose exponent so you guys wouldn't see it at first. So here's what happens. Let's do that same thing. We'll do 2, and we'll do uh, 4 again. But let's select it for addition. And you'll notice that it printed out all of them. And that's because all this does is it prints out everything below this unless you use break statements. So once again break kind of comes in to save the day. So once you hit one of these cases it will have what's called a, a cascading effect where it cascades down through all your cases. Uh, it's also known as case fall through uh, where you don't put any kind of break statements and it prints out all of them. So once again, we give this a run. I, I have Eclipse set to autosave, so when you see me just run, you might need to save and run or set it to do that. So again, we'll do two, four, and we'll add it, and this time it only gives us six, which is what we were expecting. So this is just a quick glance at um, switch and case. Uh, you will almost always be using those two in conjunction with each other. Um, However, your cases can be much more complex than this. Now, if you guys want some homework, this should be a particularly easy homework, especially considering we just did the meat and potatoes of it there. I want you guys to go, and I want you to play around a bit more with the uh, java.lang.math uh, functions, and I want you to add at least two or three more functions 
to this calculator and then I want you to have it operating inside of a loop. So how you decide you want to exit from that loop, you can enter a letter, you can enter a number, you can do whatever you want. How you do that is completely up to you. If you're lost, refer back to the lesson before this one right at the end. I, I <coughs> Sorry about that. Right at the end, I sort of go over how to do that. All right, thank you guys for watching. My name's Damien, and I hope you'll join me next time. Any questions, post them down below. Thank you.